All right, now we're gonna work on the rook. All right, so the rook again um, is pretty much a cylinder shape, right? With the, the difference of the ton of the top. So let's quickly throw in a cylinder shape here, and for this one, I mean, again, do we really need all these subdivisions. Uh, you know, that all depends, um, but I'm going to create a video, a separate video on that. But for now, let's just do a cylinder. I want to uh, disable the image for now, or hide the, the image for now. And what we're going to do is we're going to quickly put a cap on uh, some more divisions on the cap of this cylinder. So I'm just going to go to the attribute editor or channel box layer editor. And then we're going to quickly go to ca subdivision caps. We're going to go to two. What that does is that's going to create this other loop. Always. We're not going to need that for the bottom. So what we're going to do is just going to double click on the edge to select it. We're just going to go and delete edge. Um, go to, so to do that, you can just go to edit mesh, delete, delete edge. Right, there we go, click done, and then we're going to select this one. What we're going to do, notice that it's not, you know, not too thick. You can look at other references and you can see, we're just going to scale this up. Something like that. Right, and then what we're going to do is we're actually going to move this towards this direction. We're going to move to the side view and uh, we're going to match everything here so i just selected all the verts at the bottom and i just went to the y-axis i went to v for vert snapping i held it and i clicked onto this vertice so that it lines up perfectly i'm going to move this edge here i'm going to move this all the way to the top we're going to go to our x-ray view here now we're just going to kind of do the same thing as we did before we're just going to add some Edge loops here. Insert some edge loops. A really cool one right here. And then a bunch of little details here. So let's, again, we're just gonna go start matching up with the reference here. Just up that. Right, we're going to start to notice that we and we're going to try and line up this part we're going to start to notice that we're going to need to add more edge loops and stuff like that and we will now we're just going to kind of work with what we have uh, we'll make those adjustments as we go and again i'm just scaling it nothing fancy here and then so I'm just gonna go. I'm gonna constrain the scale here, so that this way it doesn't scale up or down uh, by clicking on the y-axis, holding Control, and now dragging, clicking, and dragging the y-axis. There we go. So let's start adding in some some more loops. So multi-cut tool here. Like that, bring this up, scale it. Do that a few times here. Cut, hold control, select, to create the edge loop. Up there, we can scale this again. That one more time here. We go kind of creating that shape get some more here this a little bit smoother create another edge loop scale this until it has go and then here depending on how 
Chris, I want this, right? I'm gonna do that. This has like this nice indent here. I need to really sell that. I'm gonna need to add another edge. In and I can go to again. That. I think there's like two indents here, right? So I really want to go ahead and sell that. Might even have to add in another edge loop here just to kind of give it even more of that shape. Yeah, this one definitely needs another. Edge loop here, so I'm just gonna add that multi cut edge another loop. Really get that. And yeah, I can probably add one more here. If I really want to make this detailed. That shape going. All right, so we got the general shape here. Uh, I'm gonna delete uh, my history just because I'm looking at this right now. And there's tons of history here. Delete by type history. Um, I'm also gonna freeze my transforms. Modify. Forms done. Uh, let's go out of x ray mode so you can see how this looks. I'm also going to go into perspective view and turn off the reference image. And then you're going to notice uh, when you're looking to move this to the side that there's some things going on here, right? So it looks like there's one, two, three, four, five, six kind of um, castle wall indents type of stuff. So I'm gonna remove that and we're gonna go see how we're gonna add that to the shape. See how this work. There's so this is a 20 side shape. Uh, so see how this works. I don't think this is gonna work. Yeah, I don't think this is going to divide properly. One, two, three, four, five, six right now. What happens if we do three? Do three. Three. One, three. Three. So if you do something like that, that might, that, that actually works. So what we can do is, okay, so let's go. So we're going to select the middle. So I'm going to hold tab, right? And this is a, a fun little trick on selecting things quickly and then just drag select, right? And we're going to add, so I'm going to click one of those, one, two, three, click another one, one, two, three, click another one, three, click that one, one, two, three, click that one. And then we're actually going to go and we're going to extrude faces. And then we're going to click on this one, this little symbol here, and move this inwards. We're going to quickly look at this reference image and see how much it actually goes in. It, goes, it kind of goes in around that much. Very mode here. Kind of goes in around, yeah, about that. So that for now. Remove the, the reference image. And you're going to notice that it's making some really bad faces, right? So what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to delete some of these back faces. I have to regenerate some of these and clean this up a little bit. Making some really, really ugly faces. We're gonna delete these here and we're gonna have to re gonna have to fix this up. Okay, so that looks more of what we want. And what we need to do here is we need to kind of connect these up. So I'm just gonna select the edges and go to bridge. Select these and go to bridge. I'm gonna press a G to re to redo the same uh, uh, command that we did prior, which was bridging. I'm gonna do bridge, right? So G is to repeat that same tool that you just used. So I'm just clicking that, and again, using the G key is gonna really help you um, speed up your process. You're gonna notice that there's some weird. It's looking weird, right? There's a hard edges compared to everything else. Uh, but first, before we tackle that, we're going to want to, there's a five, there's five sided faces here. One, two, three, four, five. That's not good. Okay. Um, so we need to 
fix that by adding in some triangles. So we're just going to go to um, the multi-cut tool again, and we're going to start to create a new, a new, um, a new triangle. So I'm just going to select over here. I'm just going to select there, right click to create that triangle. And then what we're going to do later is we're just going to snap them and we're going to glue them together, weld them together. Uh, but for now, I'm just going to create something like this. You're going to notice that if I try to select or create uh, an edge here, it can do a little, it can do a lot of weird things. So, um, yeah. So that's why I'm, I'm kind of, I'm purposely cutting away from it. Uh, you can try if you want. Oops. Do it the other way but you'll you'll see very shortly that it's not going to work uh as intended and it's kind of it's pretty technical to try and explain why that's happening typically because essentially right now what's happening is you have one edge that's going all the way down and then one edge that just ends halfway and it's confused it doesn't fully understand um, how this shape is being built. So the only way to do this is essentially um, creating a line on this. You'll see, you'll see the red line right now on the full edge there. Select it, just select it anywhere. And then drag it so that it snaps onto this vertice. And we're going to clean this all up in a second here. So again, just using the multi-cut tool to create some triangles. And we're going to clean this all up in a sec. And this is one of the hardest things about modeling when you're learning is you're kind of like, why, why are we kind of doing all these weird things? Um, and uh, it just takes, you know, someone just kind of has to go through this and kind of show you that these are kind of the issues that you're going to run into. And then you kind of learn from that. So here, so I'm just using the target weld tool and I'm just essentially welding the verses together. Um, Let's, let's see here. So if you go to vertices right now, you're selecting these. You see there's two vertices being selected. Um, after doing the welding, you're going to notice that um, like there's only one vertice there. Right? So target weld, very useful. So just selecting the vertices, dragging it, bring it down. So now you have that. All right? And because when we use the multi-cut tool earlier, it welded automatically, so you don't need to worry about those. There you go. Now you're noticing that they're still doing that weird, that weirdness there. I'm just gonna go here. We're gonna go to mesh display. We're just gonna go soften harden edges. That's going to kind of go in and figure out what it thinks needs to be softened and, and hardened, um, depending on your angles in the shape so mesh display i'm going to show you the options it says essentially anything that's in the 30 degree angle range will be softened and then um, anything that's more than 30 degrees angle it's going to harden for you i believe that's what it is but there you have it so there's your your rook and uh yeah the next Video will go over how to create the night.